At the far end of Taos, nestled beneath Pueblo Peak, among sprawling green pastures, is the majestic Taos Pueblo. Taos Pueblo is one of the most notable sites in our state. The only living Native American community designated as both a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a National Historic Landmark, people from all over the world come to experience this unique and sacred place. This village of multi-storied adobe buildings has been inhabited for 1,000 years. It is amazing to think how these structures of mud and straw have stood the test of time and how their full-time residents choose to live, still to this day, without running water or electricity so their ancient way of life may be preserved. I had the chance to meet with Shinoa, one of the Pueblo's tour guides, to find out more about her people's remarkable history. Experts like to say that we settled this area in 1200 AD, um, although our people don't believe that, obviously. We feel and we believe that our people have been here since time immemorial. Our first European contact was actually um, in the late 1500s when the Spanish came up through Mexico. Um, you know, they came as far north as Taos, current day Taos. And when they came, they did, you know, obviously bring the concept of Christianity, Catholicism, as well as labor. So um, that was forced upon our people um, at that time. And so when that happened, you know, a lot of our people were punished for practicing their cultural beliefs. So it wasn't just our people, but you know, Pueblo people all in current day New Mexico. So they retaliated and um, it led to what is called the Pueblo Revolt of 1680. And that was a, an effort of all Pueblos in New Mexico to you know, stand up against the Spanish and um, reclaim our land and reclaim our way of life. The Pueblo people struggled to maintain their way of life did not end there. But they have stood strong and true to their beliefs, and that is why travelers like myself are able to witness the Pueblo as it stands today. Beyond its history, the Pueblo is an active, living community whose people are welcoming and eager to share their culture with you. Not to mention, you can also buy goods directly from the artisans of the Pueblo. Walking the grounds of this village, I cannot help but feel immense gratitude and appreciation for what these people have lived through and the devotion they have to their culture. It is a lesson for us all. For your visit to Taos Pueblo, here's some things to keep in mind. Taos Pueblo sits just outside of Taos, a little more than an hour north of Santa Fe. The Pueblo is open daily, but since it's a living community, tribal rituals may impact the hours of operation. Check their calendar for ceremonial dances and feast days, but on these days, remember to leave your camera at home. To learn more about Pueblo etiquette, order your native New Mexico guide at newmexico.org.